Welcome back to ATL Day Ones. I am Tanitra Batiste. This is my boy Jarvis Davis, and we appreciate you guys coming back to talk to us because like we told you on social yesterday, there was going to be some tea, and we got some tea for you on Freddie Freeman. So everybody knows the story. He comes back to Atlanta for the first time since the trade to L.A. last weekend, and things get so emotional that he actually had to leave out and come back into his presser and really was emotional throughout the entire weekend, right? So everybody was wondering after that situation, hmm, what does this really mean in the general scheme of things? But everybody was a little hesitant to say it. And then all of a sudden, late Monday, we got word that Freddie Freeman had said, Bye to his agent. Bye. So he's still he's still with Excel Sports <laughs> Management, granted. And he says that that relationship is fluid based on what he shared with MLB.com. But Jarvis, we got thoughts. And now we probably have even more questions. So when you heard that word yesterday and you thought back to how this weekend transpired, what did that say to you in terms of what it means for the Dodgers, for the Braves, and for Freddie going forward? You know what? To be honest with you, T, it started. I I went back to the situation where, right around the time where they were negotiating, yes. and then yes. and it, right when it led up to the, his agent basically giving the Atlanta Braves an ultimatum. An ultimatum. Now, for those of you who don't know how <laughs> how the Braves get down, Liberty right. Media, how they get down, and how they are very very frugal when it comes to spending and money and paying players and Alex Anthopoulos has done an amazing job of working under that that, that secret budget right mm -hmm. and I think for them I just I just thought at that time I just said to myself I was like man the agent doesn't have any clue about what his clients wants to do right he doesn't he doesn't understand right. what Freddie wants to do Freddie wanted to remain an Atlanta Brave. And I started mm -hmm. to question that a little bit sure. as we're going through this process because, yeah. you know, you the agent works for you, right? The agent mm -hmm. works for the player. Mm -hmm. You rep, The agent represents the player. So the player says, relays the message saying, hey, here's what I want to go down. Mm -hmm. Here's what I would like. And I need you to try to get that. If you aren't able to get that, then you come back to me and have a conversation and say, okay, well, they're tripping about the six year, but they're going to give right. you the money. The money yeah. is going to be great because when you look at the Dodgers deal, mm -hmm. I think it was what, like 50 some million of it is yeah. deferred, like yeah. over like the next 10 years or so mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. or however yeah. it's constructed. Exactly. So I'm just like, like, I think the agent really, really failed Freddie. And I think yeah. that part of that falls back on him, right? Because like I said, mm -hmm. like I mentioned earlier, he works for you. The agency right. works for you. They are supposed to try to get what you want accomplished. And right. if they are trying to, if you saying that you want that six year, but I'm willing to negotiate, mm -hmm. given the, a, 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 a company, yes. a public company, which is Liberty Media, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an ultimatum when it comes to the bottom line, that's a death sentence. Yes. And, 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 and I think the, the, the evidence of that mm -hmm. was the fact that how they quickly they moved on because yes. Alex Anthopoulos has to operate a certain way. Yes. He's not the boss. He's the boss, but he's not the boss. Mm -hmm. Boss. Do you know what when you when you say boss twice, that means the people the money people, how they how they operate. That's how he mm -hmm. has to operate. And I think that, you know, ultimately it bit it came back to bite um Freddie Freeman in the booty. Yeah, because and it seems like it was one of those situations where and I'm going to give a small example that I know does not compare in the bigger scheme of things, but you make a good point. Say, for example, we're negotiating to purchase a home or a car, something right. on a smaller scale there, if you will. But then they always tell us, Jarvis, right, don't let your emotions get ahead of you. Don't yes. let your emotions get too involved. And I can imagine that maybe Freddie Freeman was going back and forth, kind of toiling with this. And then his his agent went right in that lane that was really like a, a sore spot, a sticking point for Freddie, right? Mm -hmm. And that lane would be the sixth year. And so right. when you start looking at what the Dodgers bring to the table and what the Braves bring to the table, and here they are looking all like the shiny new car with that sixth year that you want. And here they are, all you've given to them, blood, sweat, and tears, and seemingly they're not working with you. The more that agent is ch ch chomping in that ear about that right. sixth year and other things, the more you're starting to say, hmm, well, maybe 
maybe I should test out the waters because clearly this is not the place for me. So I can imagine that turmoil that may have happened. And we'll talk about what that further fallout is going to be with Freddie Freeman's decision. But first things first, you guys know that Jarvis and I have been talking to you about our weight loss journey and our wellness journey. And Jarvis, there is a wellness company out there that can help our audience to get right, just like no, we're going to get right. No right. doubt about it. Sakara is the get right company, right? They are a wellness company anchored in food as medicine on a mission to nourish your body through the yeah. power of plants. And there's an emphasis on plant rich ingredients. For, so, you know, a lot of people are going vegan or mm -hmm. however or what have you and, and not eating meat anymore. Sure. I haven't quite reached that, that their soul yeah. just yet. Work in progress. But I respect people who do that and because yeah. it is all about, you know, helping boost your energy, mm -hmm. supporting your digestive system, curbing your sugar cravings. Lord knows I have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> and get that skin right, T. Yeah. You know, you want to get your skin right. Women want to get the skin right. Check out Sakara, you know, because they are and. They are, like I said, they are plant-rich ingredients. They are Sakara's functional plants with wellness essentials help you create a body you love living in because we're trying to get the bodies right. If you mm -hmm. want to live longer, get your body right. Watch what you're putting into your body. And, you know, and right now, this is just for you all, right? Just, so listen closely. Sakara is offering 20% off for mm. your first order, your first order, you as a listener of ATL Day Ones, all you got to do is go to sakara.com slash locked on 20 or enter the code locked on 20 at checkout. That's sakara, S A K A R A dot com slash locked on 20 to get 20% off your first order. Sakara.com slash locked on 20. 20% to get yourself right sounds like a perfect, perfect. Plan Easy math. Easy math. It really is. That, that's a good <laughs> deal for you. But we're not so sure, not just from a money perspective, but from an overall perspective that the deal that Freddie Freeman took with the Dodgers was such a good deal for him because of all of the fallout that we've been talking about before with him letting go of his agent, some of the comments that he's made, what we saw last week. And so again, Jarvis, when you think about what you saw, have you been thinking about this all along? Like, hmm, was that the right move? And I'll even hit you with this one that someone hit me up with on social media a couple days ago, even before we knew about the, the termination of the agent. Does this signal that maybe there's a chance that Freddie could come back to Atlanta and be in a Braves uniform again down the road? I think it's possible. Um, I don't. I don't think that door will ever be closed. To be honest yeah, with you, because I especially agree. with with the implementation of the DH in the National League, mm -hmm. like why not? Because why not? you know this is the type of guy that you know you don't have to worry about paying an exorbitant amount of money whenever he's he feels he's ready, or the Dodgers may say, "Hey, we we good, we good with you," and we, and they want to move on. So I, I think that you know that door will will remain open because. That's just the type of guy Freddie is, right? You know, you saw about all the emotion that he showed. And you, you, you've you seen how some of his actions and starting to when you yeah. – because you can make a, a hard decision and, and, and be okay with it until you have to face it again, right? Sure. Because, you know, there's a – you know, I had to make a decision on whether or not to move on from my previous job and, mm -hmm. and whether or not it was good for me. And I think at some point I'm going to have to come to – meet that 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 former sure. that boss or meet my former whoever and and mm -hmm. say okay i felt like i re i made the right decision and sure. I, I feel like i made the right decision yeah. i've had that it, i've had i've come to that point and i think that freddie came to the conclusion once he came home and started seeing everybody and seeing all the people that he used to see on a daily basis and then getting booed after that first um after the first at bat he was like Man, golly, I probably should have found found a way to stick around. Yeah. Here's how I can kind of rectify that. I can't go back now, right. but I sure can fire my agent because that's who I thought, you know, handled the situation not how I wanted it to. Yeah. And, and I think that, you know, like I said, some of that is on the on the agent, and I think mm -hmm. some of that is on Freddie Freeman as well. But I yeah. think that ultimately, yeah, Freddie probably will be in a Braves uniform. Yeah, I, I do see that. And I saw that before we found out this revelation about letting go of the agent, but now more than ever, I feel like, yeah, don't know when that day will come, but I believe that day will come as well. And when you think about Dansby Swanson, absolutely. That's a situation that he's about to face a crossroads. That's going to be an interesting take on whether or not same 
uh, management team and firm, different agent, of course, for Dansby, but whether or not he's going to have to deal with that kind of come to Jesus moment between that management team, the Braves and him when his negotiations come up really soon. So we'll, we'll be watching to see how Dansby manages through that. When we come back, it's for the culture. And we will talk to you guys about how we all became very familiar with the phrase, love should have brought your earth home last night is ATL day ones. We'll see you on the other side. 